Your hot rods. These are my hot rods. Chris, that's your hot rod. <laughs> oh! Austria's worryingly relaxed vehicle laws mean these ludicrous dinkmobiles can be driven on actual roads amongst full-size vehicles. Hey! It's the guy from the OT crowd. What? I presume what you're saying is facetious. Hot rods, somewhere in the city. All of this area that we're driving through right now is the first district, OK? I can only take a man in a tiny car so seriously. Our guide, Florian, will take us hurtling round one of Vienna's most exciting ring roads, past the Opera House, the City Hall and the Burg Theatre. This is St Stephen's Cathedral, guys. Lovely church. I think it was good to give that the seven seconds that that architecture deserved. You have very small, tiny little neat shops. Nice. Do you have Dixons here? No. Oh. no. They don't have a Dixon, Chris. A lot of antiques that they would have stolen during the war. And if you're going to sightsee at speed, you must renounce all fear of collision. Watch out for the trap. I'm running a light. I'm running a light. We're really rattling through this. We might be able to go back a day early. Here we are. Ah, Freud's Hall. <laughs> if that's not itself Freudian, I don't know. <laughs> On the walls, there is still the original decoration. He really, he really yeah. went for it, didn't he? Gosh, it's a bit gaudy. This yeah, is where good. he was for 40 years. This has... No, just this hall. He just couldn't get going. Much like us. Right. This is his waiting room, so this is where you would have waited. <sighs> had magazines and things like that. <laughs> he would have had, before, like, Fishing Weekly over he in the popped corner. In. All of this is alarmed. You mean psychologically? No, literally, as it was in Freud's time. <laughs> he took his security very seriously. The treatment room. Oh. I one? think this is called the hangman. It's a piece of art that they've just put in to brighten it up because <laughs> it can get a bit heavy. That's his couch. Lie down, enjoy yourself. Yeah. I'll be behind you. It's not strange if I play with your hair. <laughs> the gift shop. Ah. Oh. Banksy's favourite room. <laughs> Look, it's got an action figure. The hands move, so that's useful. Yeah, you can just transfer your lightsaber from your other toys. <laughs> Freud would have loved a lightsaber. Oh, I mean, that was the make? ultimate phallic. Look at Darth Vader's helmet. <laughs> hey, Hi. zwei Kieserkleine bitte. Yeah. Yes, this is sausage with cheese in it. That doesn't have cheese in it. Oh, it does. Look yes, at that. look. The name literally means pussy stick. Just a shame. <laughs> Danke. That's really tasty. Yeah. I like cheese. I like sausage. What's the problem? There is no problem, except for your arteries, which I can feel furring up before my very eyes. I don't really know what you do with the bread. I think it's a lot like normal bread. I'm going to eat it, yeah. Yeah. And it's certainly helping to soak up the storm. <laughs> Shall we call it a night? And a victory for the pizza cleaner. <laughs> That's... OK. Now, of course, uh, cake is a mainstay of Viennese culture. You knew that. Mm -hmm. But Viennese people tend not to have cake for breakfast. Oh. But we are under time pressure, which is why we're having to chunder through this. Great. But you seem to have taken to it like a duck to water. I don't think this is the first time you've had cake for breakfast. Today. No. I've got to tell you. <laughs> oh, dear. I think this is how Freud came up with all of those ideas. I think it was Sugar Rush. Well, this is why everybody had to lie on a couch for so long. Exactly. They just hit Cafe Central too hard that morning and remembered something that their mother may or may not have done. <laughs> <laughs> That was dynamite, Chris, but we can't tarry. No. We've got to catch our horse and cart. <laughs> now! Come on! Time's of the essence, Chris. Gosh. Ah! Oh, that's the smell of raw sewage for you. Ah! <laughs> oh. I mean, I know it's not the same, but it's not unlike Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Wow! Smells sweet, doesn't it's, it? I'm more worried about the rats. That's why I'm, I'm just keeping on moving here. So this is where Orson Welles refused to come when he was making The Third Man. Whenever you see his face, he was here. 
Right. Whenever you see his back or just his feet, it was an Orson Welles. Okay, good old Orson. So how long does this tour last? Minimum of five hours. Okay. Well, quick as you like, let's wrap it up. Okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh. oh! Wow. Hey. Mixed feelings. That was... That was disgusting. ...everything you might expect from a sewer. <laughs> Any attraction where you need hand sanitizer at the end is something to, to think twice about. I feel like when you see the sewer system, it's like a city showing you its magic trick. Right. And that magic is how They've can we cut... siphon off excrement as efficiently as possible? <laughs> Shall we leave? Yes, please. OK. Oh, sewers. The snow globe was invented in Vienna 115 years ago. A museum dedicated to their continuing relevance is run by Erwin Pertzi III, grandson of the inventor who guards the magical secret of the realistic snow with his life. What is the snow in these globes? Uh, to tell the truth, this is my secret. What is it? it? Go it, on. It's snow from my snow globes. It's actual snow? Yeah. Let's okay. have a look at some of them. I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I lift that? Is that one yeah. liftable? Yeah. Okay. This is a. It's one. a little bit heavy. Be oh. careful because that's Just Jeremy hold Clarkson's it on the glass, one. please. Look at that. That is good quality um, fake snow. Oh! There you go. <laughs> <Let's> go. <laughs> oh! That's a crying shame. Oh, everyone, I'm so sorry. I'm just so pleased it's not me. I can't lie, I want to feel bad for you, but the relief that that wasn't me is so great. That Drop is. it. Oh, oh careful. Okay. Oh. Now you can see the it's magnification. Okay. If yes. you remember how the how big the car was before. I've got to say, I'm in such a state of shock, <laughs> yeah. I can't really remember anything. I don't even remember who you are. Okay. I don't know why I'm here. Yeah. I just know we've done something bad. <laughs> and it wasn't my fault. Oh, okay. Shall we look through? Shall we go okay. more gloves? Let's look at the other room of breakables, okay. shall we, Owen? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, crumbs. In order to harness the potential for fresh disgrace, I resolve to see if there's any more valuable glassware in the joint worth scoping out. And there ruddy well is. A snow globe from Orson Welles' masterpiece, Citizen Kane. My grandfather made the snow globe for the movie. I mean, yeah. this is good. And this is a replica. I'm just saying don't do a stock inventory tonight because yeah. as soon as your bat's turned, I'm taking this. <laughs> I'm taking the snow globe. I'm going to be right up front. Is it just normal water? Yeah, Austrian alpine water. Oh. What a city. What a city. Well, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> Do you blow the glass yourself? No. 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 <laughs> this is... <laughs> idiot. The glass globe we buy from a glass factory. And the snow you make with... Yeah. Yeah, I do. I oh, do. I do. Yeah. God, you're yeah. good. I would like to remind you, you have something in your pocket. Oh. I have no idea what I you're talking you just about. I to see you. And you're being very passive aggressive. <laughs> okay? Which I don't appreciate. But it's lovely to meet you. Um, there's nothing in my pocket. You have a vandal in here. You need to deal with that. I'll see you later. Okay? Thank you so okay. much. I'll see you later. It was a pleasure. Onion's hat. What's, Small fellow. What's with the upturned V? I don't know. This way up. It was a favourite of Voltaire, Marie Antoinette, and a raft of French revolutionaries. How is it? Oh, that's lovely. Good. In a moment of weakness, we order calf's head casserole, the signature dish of this 17th century chop house. But before we cow down, Mel demands we plough through a plate of invertebrates. Oh, crumbs. Here we go. Mr. Forky goes right deep oh, hello. into Snail Town. Well, the colour of this is something I need to ignore. It's really nice. And I'm good for snail. Did you like that? I'm good for it. I really like that. Really? Yeah. What's really amazing to me much. is it tastes like snail. It it tastes quite gardeny. I've still not it? got through it. I'm still resisting. As Rod Stewart yeah. sang. I am mm. snailing. Mm. Snail away, snail away, snail away. As then you would say. With mathematical inevitability, the second course follows the first, and we buckle up for bovine bonds. Here we go. <sighs> Ready? Calf's head. That's very French. That's very French. 
smells really good. See if I can clear the decks with a bit of carrot. <laughs> wow. Really sorry. I don't know if that's champers. I don't know whether that's brain stems. I'm really sorry. No, it's charming. It's awful. No. I'm so sorry. It's very continental. Let me top you up with sparkling water. I think it's a sign of. It's a sign it, of good times. Enjoy it. Here we come. <laughs> that was a deep one. That was from the shoes. Sorry. It's I'm really you feel, unattractive. I'm no, sorry. It's because it's you're awful. relaxed. Yeah. You're relaxed. I think you've been holding this in for years. It's the champs, mate, honestly. Mm, mm. Have you mm -hmm. eaten some stem? I don't know. The texture altered during that bite. And that Did it become is a draw. Maybe time to say tutty bye-byes. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to skip. 5 p.m. is the Parisian precursor to wine time, and in the 19th century was known as the Green Hour, in reference to the populace's penchant for absinthe. Also known as the Green Fairy, it is distilled from a mix of fennel, aniseed, and wormwood shrub. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, lovely. Now, so, what's yeah. the sugar cube? And have to do like that. Drop and drop. Okay. And when the sugar is dissolved, Sweet. yes. Dissolved, yes. You can drink. Shall I? I shall I yes. open up my hose? Yeah. Okay. Get oh, your Whoa. Too much. <laughs> Sorry. Too much. It's Sorry. okay. It can be as strong as 89% alcohol, and after being blamed for a variety of ills, from a rise in alcoholism to tuberculosis and even murder. Wow. Absinthe was banned in 1914 for almost a century. Yeah, I mean, it's like very strong Dental. toothpaste. Dental. Oh, did you feel that at the back of your brain? Head? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Just it's... Just had a slight... Had a slight... I mean, I'm certainly not going to chug my way through this. My eyes have locked. Well... Slightly locked eyes. Yeah, already. No, no there is a glaze. It's a slight glaze. There's a glaze. I've got the absinthe glaze. Yeah, I'm, I'm not so sure. How are you feeling? I feel tired. Depressed. Yes. Melancholy. You're spiralling through a Rolodex of emotions there. Slightly melancholy. People will ferment anything, won't they? They will. Bricks, bits of tears, anything. <laughs> oh, wow. You're really leaning into that punch. I well, think you have to bra brace into it. Bye again. <laughs> Bonjour à tous. Bonjour, chef. Bonjour. Welcome to Le Cordon Bleu Paris. Thank you. You know why you're here today? Definitely. Yes. We're going to really. make macarons. That's and right. Make them really good. I can see how this is going. <laughs> you immediately teach us pet. You're I'm right there. I'm right You're close. at the apex. I don't I'm like what's happening. Already the favourite. Chef Olivier Mahou begins the class by mixing together ground almonds and sugar. This has been pre-weighed. Yeah, yeah, that's pre-weighed. Okay. So thus far, I haven't made a mistake. And then deftly segues to whisking the eggs. It's actually quite tiring, isn't it? It's this knuckle, isn't it? Mary Berry. I know. With the whisking. That's why she's so sinewy. It's all sinew. I know. It's sinew. She's like a young Iggy Pop. Let's hope she doesn't start taking her top off like Iggy. Now, Paul Hollywood, is that his real name? Yes. You're out of your mind, that's his real name. Next, Chef shows us how to gently combine the two mixtures. It's like if you're doing the Breast, uh, the stroke or breast stroke. Yeah, breast, breast stroke. stroke. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So one hand does Going this. Going for a forest. Kate Bush. Yeah. That's it. That too. That works. Yeah. Okay. Early so Kate one Bush. hand does this. Yeah. Okay. And the other one does oh, this. Oh, nice. Okay. So it's like doing this. Oh, great. Right? Displaying the kind of empathy and bonhomie for which I am famed, I proceed to find out about our fellow chefs. Have you made macaroon? Never. Have you made macaroon? Have you made macaroon? Yeah. This guy. Yeah, we are <laughs> you bake all the time, right? Sometimes, yes. Sometimes. Oh, Come on. I see. Only when he's not managing his international business. Anyone wearing a pink shirt, I, I trust. You trust? I trust. Because it's it's a choice. Food. It doesn't just happen to you. Yeah. So you're thinking about life. We add natural food colouring and prepare the mixture to pipe onto the baking tray. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Chef. I need support. No problem, no problem. I'm here, I'm here. Look, look, okay. look, look. Here we go. Okay. Isn't that What's cheating? Happening? Isn't that slightly cheating? No. That the chef okay. is actually taking so you your see? bag? I'm trying to learn. <laughs> C'est bon. You get to the end of your life, what do you say? Yes. I've won. He's no. just done that for you. You say I've lived. <laughs> I've connected. I've got very unsteady hands because of anxiety. 
after three hours as a pastry chef, I feel I might finally be able to hold my own in my fortnightly Greg's discussion group. That's a good macaroon. That's good, huh? That's a good yeah. macaroon. Just when I think we won't receive certificates, we receive certificates, and my rage subsides to be replaced by a sense of utter achievement. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done, Richard. Thank you. I feel that would have happened regardless of what happened here. Merci, chef. Merci beaucoup. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Everyone, look, got yeah. the bat. Certi look, it's a certificate of attendance. They call me the Gothic Elvis. Doing That's suspicious names. I look a bit well. like Elvis, but unfortunately, it's the bit just before he died. And he was loaded <laughs> up with burgers and bad dreams. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? What are you tarrying amongst mid-century Danish modernism? Just, what did I tell you about tarrying amongst mid-century modern pieces? I'm just enjoying the tiny We've got chairs. We've eight hours to wrap the shiz up, like Murphy and Nolte before us. This is going to be a holiday, not one of your weird, anally retentive fright fests. <laughs> Back in old times here in Denmark, me, Danish Viking, you from somewhere else in the world, I would kill all the men, rape the women, steal all your belongings and burn down anything that was left over. Surely they've mentioned that on yeah. TripAdvisor. This is the most visited attraction in Denmark. She's quite beautiful. I'm not saying I'd get off of her, but she's quite attractive. It's quite a bleak backdrop. Yeah. It's a bit like the end of Get Carter. Yeah, it's a bit like get thrown. It's very pleasingly put together. I and might just varnish it and wear it like a pirate's hat. I'm going to sip from snap. Really? Mm. That's... I've got nothing to lose. You've got a lot to lose. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Woo! OK. <laughs> oh. It's like Castrol GTX. <laughs> I'm just going to smell oh. it. Even you That's smelling too much. that will mean you'll probably leave here dizzy. naked. <laughs> I've seen you drunk once. Oh. It was unbelievable. What had happened? You did a, quite a lot of impressions of Orson Welles. Did I? Yeah. That's my, that's what I, you... my go-to. <laughs> I must have had a unit. <laughs> you were out of control. I don't know. What I quite breathe. like now, this must be an English thing, is a hot liquid. I feel like it would ease this down. Yes. Because everything's quite cold. And that's my, it's not a complaint, but I'm not used to eating food. Sounds foods. quite a bit like a complaint. It sounded like a complaint. <laughs> it wasn't a complaint at all. And that deafening silence that I just heard descend upon the kitchen. No, but I... As two of their staff <laughs> put their heads into their very cold <laughs> oven. <laughs> They've taken it pretty hard. <laughs> Quite heavy on the senses. A lot of business happening here. It's, it's like you. being in a kaleidoscope. A friend of mine got touched up on a ghost train once. It sort of put me off theme parks for a while. Come on, yeah. Inspector Gadget, you I'm, enjoyed I'm, that. No, I'm leaving. Galloping. Come on, let's get galloping. Let's get galloping. There we go. There's galloping. I could spend all day at the galloping table. There we go. That's right. Are you in the lead? Oh! That, my friends, is galloping. <laughs> what a game of galloping. Thank you. You get that token to keep. You put on your galloping trophy board. That's some of the best galloping I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm so pumped you were, galloping. You were galloping like it was going out of style. They call me Dr. Gallopin. That's the highlight of the entire trip. You could build a sort of pastry man out of all of this, couldn't you? Right. Those are the eyes, Mel. Have him as your wife. Mm. I'm loving I'm, it. I need a shot of insulin. This is my favourite breakfast. This is all I do. Sweets. Yeah. I mean... Are you eight? Clip. Yes. Oh, these are heavy. They're really heavy. They've got power assist. Because it's so hilly, Denmark. I can feel the power assist. Will it assist me wow. in other areas of my life? This looks like a goblin lives in here. <laughs> There's no one in there. It's this door. Oh, right. Right. Toast. Yeah, that's good. That smells like you're having a stroke. Malt. I don't like that one. I don't know. That one's too strong. It's like being slapped by a tiny 
scented fist. Oh, prunes. I'm not sure about prunes. <laughs> I'm not sure about prunes. Eee, that smells like yeah. old money. I'm not... <laughs> oh, when cost. it smells slightly metally. You know when you're a child and you suck a penny. I didn't. Didn't I, ever do I that. I was advised against doing yeah, that well, by my get... legal advisor. <laughs> You need a good yeah. head on the beard, you know okay. why? I do not know why. Because the head releases the aromas. Banana! <laughs> Does it? See, it's too fast. There's some very young beer testers coming through here. Yeah. Hey. We do have activities for children happening right. all around. Do they get <laughs> first? Oh, you say that. They do not get <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> not, on, not on my watch, at least. It'd be fun, though, right? Yeah. No. Is that you? A bit unbanana-y for me. I'd happily drink all of these. By this stage, I'm, I'm in pieces. This is the most alcohol I've ever drunk. <laughs> well, Anders, thanks for this. You're My lucky. judgment is impaired, but we have to leave you. We're on a very limited time scale. No problem at all. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. It was a real much. pleasure. Thanks that's a lot. <laughs> Cheers. Bye. Bye. There's some very drunk miners here. <laughs> thanks. I've... He's been here. And no photo. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. He's quite a short man. He's yeah. getting smaller, which yeah. is why. A lot of people jogging. Pardon? Jogging. A lot of people jogging. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. People from town, they use it much. Slightly much. goes against the no running rule. Well, the floor's getting uneven now. Cubans. Well, give them a break. This must have been a nightmare to produce back in 1642. They didn't have to make the floor out of Jenga pieces, did they? How have you found Copenhagen? I've really enjoyed the open sand vintages. Yes. <laughs> Gallopin. I'm getting one put in my house and I'm inviting you around. I am going to move in. We'll always have galloping. We'll Richard. always have galloping. I know. Let's, let's get the funk out of here. Let's go. I like it. I it's like nice. it here. Pretty much within 20 seconds, we've taken in all we need to take in. I don't know where everyone's gone. When we arrived, there were lots of people here. Yeah, and they scattered. They've got... Yeah. Which m makes me think we're about to be arrested. That's state police intervening after that comment. Yeah. Mercifully, the police aren't on my back again, but we have been very much interrupted by a fleet of World War II military vehicles practising for the Russian Military Day of Honour Parade. So, like the decrepit tanks we are, we make a tactical retreat. So would you recommend walking in on a Second World War military display in Red Square as something to do when... Everyone else comes to Moscow. Absolutely, number one on my list so you've far. You've got to do it. Yeah. You've just got to do it. Well, I um, imagine you've got other treats in store for me. Yes, they also have a martial undertow. Let's go and investigate them. It looks delicious. This is meat. Uh, yes, one well, of them. What's for dessert? Cracker. Um, oh. Iris. OK. Marmelade. What's that? Iris. Marmelade. Any fruit? It's good. Bush. It's very good. Another bush. Okay. Uh, yes. Thanks. Nice. Our astronomical fare duly secured, oh, we can no. finally start squirting our first course onto some dry crackers. That's a long, hard space trip. I can see why they need that space toilet. Can we have some meat and veg before we Try move on to our dessert? Oh, no. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, dear. That's going to be floating all around. I would be able to. Yeah. In space, of course. That's going to end up a horrible gif. <laughs> really squeeze it. Ooh, oh! That's a shame. Oh, dear. Yield. <laughs> no. You know you're, you're failing phase one of the cosmonauts training programme. Let's have some pudding. No, no. I think it's a drink, maybe. It might be a drink. It wasn't made clear to me at the no. space station. How's that? Good? No, no. It was the antithesis of good. OK. Your drink's leaking all over the shuttle. Moscow is rightly renowned for its theatre, ballet and circus. But these events are exhaustingly time-hungry, so we're going to something which combines all three. I'm sorry, Rich, what is this? It's a cat circus. It's a cat circus, Greg. There's a fine line between kooky and really worrying. And creepy. The cat theatre quarters over 200 cats spanning 38 breeds and, unsurprisingly, the theatre is one of the only of its kind on the planet. This cat is just trying to survive. <laughs> I said Bolshoi Ballet. We're in, you wouldn't know. 
No, no, circus. No. I've heard It'll about be the cat circus. As the show builds towards what we hope is a close, things are beginning to take a troubling turn. Um, uh, oh. I'm losing my... I, I'm not sure how much more it's I can hundreds, take of this. It's hundreds of cats on crystal balls. I, you know, this, we have limited time, and I feel this could go on oh. forever. As you wish. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm coming. I've got to. Well, well, I feel you only need to see that once, if at all. I think it is one of the strangest things that I will ever see. Yes. I think the people watching this are going to be very disappointed that you didn't join in when, the, when all the kids were clapping for their performing cats. No, I, I, I'm not. I know what happens here when people start clapping in unison, and I do not want to be a part <laughs> of it. Let's leave. After you drink every shot, you take a piece of pure bread, fresh bread, and smell it. When you don't feel the smell, you should stop drinking. OK. Ah. It's, a, it's a good <laughs> right. indicator when we, you should... Uh, when your stop. senses fail you, yeah. call it a day. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, that is strong. I'm going to smell some bread well. now. Yeah. I can smell the bread. May I, may I put a second one? Oh, we are having a second one. Wow. For sure. I'm afraid once I've had two, I can't stop. That's one of my rules. Mercifully for Greg, George knows how to use the impregnable Russian barrier of pig fat bread spread. It's a fat, so it will accumulate alcohol inside your stomach and you won't be drunk. And so the okay. fat is to soak up the alcohol. Yeah, I'm already feeling it. Mm. That's all I can do. I'm losing the bread. The bread's lost. I'm having a lovely morning. Mm. Thank you. If okay. you want to have a lovely morning in Russia, yeah. start with a couple of shots. Take yep. a pickle yep. and go for a walk. And then mm. just try and operate that forklift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you for having us. Thank you, yeah. Oh, hello, gentlemen. Hi. Can you tell by you? my body language how comfortable I am? Yes. Yeah. Is this the proper appearance? Yes, of course. Presumably, I will be incredibly cool and relaxed because I'm wearing this hat, this whereas hat. Richard will be horribly uncomfortable. Yeah. We advise all clients to wear it. OK. Let's In go there? to the steam room. Yes. OK. Then you get your hat. Yuri is taking us for a speciality of these bars, a birch leaf treatment that is supposed to improve circulation. Greg volunteers with giddying eagerness. Greg, why did you insist that I sit at this angle? Because for <laughs> me, this is a bad angle. I am not engaging with this. Ah. quite nice, but it feels like it's building to oh. something sinister. Yeah. Oh, that's ah, there. That's sinister. This is a woodland version of Stomp. I imagine this looks... It doesn't look good, Greg. This is nice. Ah, oh, wow. I deserve this. Bang. With Greg bewhacked into new strata of sensation, he moves with unearthly alacrity to the traditional post-steam ice-cold douche. There are people who work here in the background actively laughing. <laughs> Ready? Go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, that was creepy. How do you feel about it? I went in there with a tick list of three things, Richard. OK. I Tell want, me what was on the tick list. I wanted to wear a hat, maybe look like a sinister children's character. Tick. I wanted topless men to thrash me with sticks. And then I wanted to be driven close to a heart attack with ice cold water. Well, that's excellent news for the tick chart because Thanks so much that's for... three ticks. I think let's go on, let's explore. There might even be more to Moscow than that. There doesn't seem much point, but let's but try. Let's soldier on. Wow. Yeah. This is yeah. amazing. I'm not sure whether this is the sweet or the standard. I have to imagine it's the sweet. I don't know. I just know I'd be happy. Here if... That's good for me to factor into my decision, and it is my decision. Very well. Ooh. Okay. This is very you, isn't it? Rob? Wow. Uh, very you. It's not not a nice room, but I. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so I'm going to leave you to bed in here. I thought. The good thing is that window is very hard to fall out of. So there's no point dwelling on this. Don't dwell on it, Rob. Are we running by something important? 
Do you know what is this? Uh, I know. It's the cathedral. cathedral of Sevilla. I would have said Nando's. The cathedral is the third largest in the world, outsized only by St. Peter's in the Vatican and a Paracida in Brazil. Do you go to this church? Oh, yes, of course. I yes. get married here. OK. Really? Yes. yes. OK. And how many people were at your wedding? Did they oh, have to...? Oh, 1,000 people. There were 1,000 people. 1,000 people. It's very, very, very big. How many are you still in touch with? 1,000. What's wrong with this place? How do you feel about dancing? I'm just going to ask you while we pan down. Sure. I, uh, I like to move rhythmically when music is playing, but I wouldn't call what I do dance. I'll come now. Andalusia is the birthplace of flamenco, and lessons are readily available for beginners, as well as the experts we will shortly become. Hello. Hi. Hello. Overwhelmed by my powerful masculinity, Manuela attempts to teach us the fundamentals of flamenco. Well, now? Sorry, I drifted off. From the beginning. OK. Gosh, this is hard. This is like black here. swan. OK, <laughs> here we go. OK. OK. Now it's getting interesting, right? Hey. And dry. OK. You don't sound entirely convinced. The dance moves I'm effortlessly expressing are known as baile. Stop. And they're mixed with palmas, flamenco's distinctive hand claps and stamps. Fine. So okay. in flamenco, if someone's weak, you just abandon them. Is that what happened? You just go to the strong person. But let's continue. Okay. This let's is different. This is different. Fly. Okay. Stop. Okay. Okay. I grew up in Peckham. When a brother like me is in this position, bad stuff's going down. Bueno, chicos, ha sido un placer. Tengo otra clase y me tengo que ir. Vale. Sensing that it would be fruitless to over-refine a raw, expressive talent like mine, Manuela calls it a dia. Did she just oh. call us chickens? Uh, chicos, it means uh, good dancers, man. OK. Do we good. get certification as to the main... Without certification, this is... No worthless. Us. Can you get a certificate when the thing you learned most about is yourself? Yeah, I mean, that's one of the most important certificates you can get. Because I just really learned a lot about... This guy. Yeah. OK, well, I feel I was undermined, and I don't really need that. I don't need to come to Spain to be undermined. Let's get you some ice cream. OK. That's a small vehicle. That's a fun little car, isn't it? Yes. Wow. Do you okay. drive? I do, yes. I only learned to drive last week. Yeah. Well, then, since we're both fathers, uh, maybe I should drive. We can swap halfway through. I've already broken something. That's good. Oh, flat of the hand. <laughs> Here it comes. Our prolonged 400k trek takes us past Granada and across the scenic Sierra Nevada mountains. Their majesty awes us. Wow, that's one pack. I thought that was a multi-pack. Oh, wow. I went in there expecting to take out smaller packets. Lesser men on such a trip might resort to sharing thoughts, life experiences and hopes for a better world. But mercifully, I brought my iPod. That's a very good air drumming song. It's very fast on the hi hat. Good stuff. Oh, that's all I can do. Good cardio. Work on some of the crisps. OK, you can have one of yours. Oh, that's so good. Hey, a little lost highway. I think when you go on a road trip, you want to uh, yeah. you want to invoke the spirits of both David Lynch and David Bowie in the hopes that something uh, magic and terrible might happen. Many house secrets travel I start to believe if I was to dream. Very good by Brasso. I agree. This looks alarmingly like my neighborhood in London. We 
should get served relatively quickly, is the good thing. Yeah, I'd like a Fanta. And you? Dos Fantas. Por okay. Favor. Dos Fantas. I also see you have Kinder Eggs. Two Kinder Eggs. And a pack of Orbit. Uh, and do you have a Wi-Fi code? Wi-Fi? It's a kind of a sad atmosphere in this bar, actually. I think we're contributing to it. I'll see what the toy is. Hey! It's a little... It's a little dog. You can change the hair. There's very little assembly required on this. I don't know this man. Twice a day, at no extra cost, visitors can enjoy a Wild West show. This is the American National Anthem. Yeah. Sounded like exposition. Oh, dear. This afternoon's performance centers on some kind of robbery. He's got all the milky bars in there. And it's staged with the authenticity of the mid-90s sitcom dream sequence. Oh. oh, thank God for that crash mat. What are the odds? Well, that's excessive. That's very good. Uh, very good. Awesome. Thank you very much. I've done similar scenes myself. Thank you so much. OMG. Oh, God. Have you done before? No. Ooh. Reasonably elegant, but not very. Thank right. you. Here we go. We're in one of 400 gondolas still active in Venice. Only 400? Yeah, there used to be 10,000, but... You're joking. Times are hard <gasps> for the gondola. Wow. This looks like a funeral gondola to me. They all have to be painted black by oh, law okay. now. Right. They used to be in flamboyant colours. It was getting out of hand. There were lime green ones. Oh, OK. Ones with Bob Marley on the side. I don't know. <laughs> As I continue to regurgitate gondola facts being fed to me via my earpiece, Alessandro oars us towards a prime piece of Venetian real estate. Oh, here we go, Bridge of Sighs. Oh, what, this thing here? Yes, because that's a prison. Right. And I think the Bridge of Sighs, well, was supposedly about prisoners looking back at free Venice for the last time. And an enclosed bridge, obviously, so they couldn't jump out on the way across. Even if they did jump off, I mean, they're going nowhere fast. Someone might catch them, might they? What, in a gondola, <laughs> escaping at this <laughs> pace? <laughs> we'll never catch them. Oh, yes, we will. We'll just get in an adjoining gondola <laughs> and over the period of half an hour, slowly <laughs> okay. track them down. What's your top speed in this Top break? speed? <laughs> well, could be... Seven, eight kilometres. Seven or eight kilometres, yes. yeah. We could achieve this kind of speed if we literally just fell in the river and drifted. 80 euros for the worse, the half an hour gondola glide has given Joe and I a freshly awakened reverence for the city. Any city that flooded would look like this. No, it wouldn't. Well, Croydon's not a city, but it wouldn't look like this. I'd love Croydon's got a John Lewis, Dixon's, right. Waitrose. <laughs> What's this got? Nothing. <laughs> it's got water damage. For the time-denied mini-breaker in search of nourishment, the Cantina de Checo is nothing less than compulsory. We're here for Cecchetti, the Venetian version of tapas, and we're going to save vital seconds because there's no menus and the eats arrive all at once. We don't even have to squander what time we have left on Earth by seating ourselves because the whole thing is traditionally chowed bolt upright. Ciao. Ciao. Parliamo italiano. Molto bene. I can't say anything else now. That's all we've got. OK. Cicchetta. Yes. Fish, ham, cheese, salami, we make everything at the moment. What do you like? Those things, please. OK. Thank you. And for drink? Again, I'm happy to go with the recommendation. Bene. I give you the champignon Italian. Unless you have Fanta. No. <laughs> To accompany the Champagne Noir, we're shoveling down a seafood platter of mackerel, sea bass, squid, swordfish, and my old adversary, raw prawn. This is a lot of recently deceased seafood. I'm sorry I've started without you. Hey, you can't help your upbringing. <laughs> the salad looks like something that's been composted for a month. In but a bad way? No, but it tastes no. OK. Good. Yes. I think the mackerel's um, right up my canal. Up your alley. Okay. 
Yes. Yeah. That's lovely. That's good. And what's that like? That's fine. Oh, well done. Mm. So good, fine, mm. and yes. Yeah. Your vocabulary is expanded yes. massively. A lot of this comes directly from Keith Floyd. Okay. We're providing light and shade within this absolutely definitive review. Anytime you mini break, a bod has to provide evidence that he's left the borders and not spent the weekend in his pants watching box sets in some kind of doomed attempt to connect with popular culture. You make all of these masks yes, here we yourself? Do. Yes, we do. There is a mold for every mask, like this one. Yes. And by hand, just paper, water and glue, you push in the mold. Yeah. When you take, out, take it out, it takes some time to dry out and then it's ready to start. You That's we cut great. Uh, all the process. It's all handmade, really. Initially used for keeping locals anonymous while gambling, partying and seducing, masks have been a part of Venetian culture for ruddy ages. Why do people buy masks? For uh, the carnival in Venice. OK. Yes. And that's every year? Yes, every year in February. The most traditional one, it, it was this. It's okay. called the Bauta. OK. It was the mask of Casanova. OK. Oh, OK. <laughs> Come on now. This will immediately increase my erotic power, which is already pretty high. <laughs> well, yeah. Don't fight it. And then the elements. Here we go. Yes, Bang. exactly. Hey. Do you want to freshen up that spritzer? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> and we'll have a selection of bar snacks. Thank you. What is the, um, the most popular woman's mask? The most popular for women was that the one. Oh, that that one with the stick. That looks very nice. Yeah. It's better than that one, really, isn't it? What are you talking about? Yeah. You look like Thomas the Tank Engine's psychopathic brother. Yeah. But you're engaging with me, aren't you? It's Barely. Come on. We're sparking up a report. Your eyes are, are, are emptied out of any empathy. I have no empathy. I'm just looking to close deals. <laughs> close deals throughout this town. <laughs> Shutting it down. <laughs> on the rare occasions that this doesn't work, I immediately switch Fresh to this one. Because if this one doesn't work, you just come back into the bar. Hey, that other guy, what a jerk. I'm so like embarrassed that, that my brother better. was here before. He's so pushy. <laughs> um, look, why don't we get out of here and... See, you can just come back. Oh, Ooh, he's hello. back. Hello, welcome back. He's back. The, the glasses. One. This is this is excellent. Italy is the home of gelato, and the best homemade gelato in all Venice is to be found at Alaska Gelateria Sorbetteria, justly rated for its wide-ranging choice of flavours. Thank you. Buongiorno. 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 Ice cream. Yes, please. Um, um, can I try the rum and raisin in a cone? In a cone. Waffle cone. Oh, this one. This one. Ah, yeah, please. Well, you are a fancy man. Ah, you love a gelato. <laughs> Don't get me here. That. Allora. Brilliant. What's that one top, right in the top this there? This one is chocolate chips. OK. Is that good with it? Yes. OK. And I give you a spoon of pistachio. OK. Oh. Thank you very much. Buon appetito. Joe. Uh, please, for oh. me, one like that except piccolo. Very good is ginger. There's salad and orange. Oh, I'll have rocket. Oh, yes, please. Well, thank you very much. Ginger is lovely. Very nice. Rocket. How's that? Too healthy. I can show you uh, some of the... Wow. Uh, well, anguria, watermelon. watermelon, pineapple, carrots. Carrot ice cream. Onions, onions. Uh, red onions. Really? Well. Honestly, even you don't stand well, by that one. No one wanted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why are you so happy? Are you on drugs? Yes. It's sugar rush. It's on constant sugar rush. Well, all I can say, this is excellent. Grazie. It's excellent. <laughs> well, pleasure. welcome. It's I hope pleasure. you enjoy Thanks. it. Yeah. Very much. Bye. There we go. You've got to be moved by this. I am moved, but I'm trying not to get sucked in to the <laughs> commodification of marine life. This would be an overly obvious place to rendezvous in a spy film. <laughs> it's ridiculous. 11 million litres of seawater, of course. 65,000 types of fish. 220 kilograms a day of food. Oh, God. The pleasing thing is this is 70 centimetres thick. That's the only thing I need to take away from here. I can happily sit with the paint in front of this for three days. We don't have time. Right, OK. There's nothing here that you can't get on a screensaver of any standard PC. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. 
No one has walked in Dubai since the late 70s, and with dwindling oil reserves, the roads could soon go the full Mad Max. So we opt for an alternate mode of transport. Come on, you can do this. Uh, why am I, why was Your I made... Your entire body language. Why was I made so weak? I'm such a weak person. It's, um, it's in the mind. I've got no constitution. This beats the, uh, the city bus tour, doesn't it? Finding two of my favourite types of motion sickness, air and sea. We're airborne. For a far too long 40 minutes, we'll loop out from the historic heart of Dubai, the creek, and take in the offshore man-made world, the palm and the city skyline. This is a bit much for me. Oi, oi, oi. That's the cluster of islands meant to look like the world out there. What, is that my man? Yes. It didn't naturally form into a map of the globe. <laughs> how come it doesn't drift like when you build a sandcastle? I don't know how this well, works. I need you to know these. I know. You it know does. I have the brain of a 12-year-old that just has question. Right. What's that ship doing there? I don't know. What country's that meant to be? Poland. The fish know when it's raining? Yes. Oh, oh God! Wow. I was not keen on that at all. And that's the palm over there. That's where we're staying. Oh, oh yeah! It's an engineering feat. It's admirable, but it's... The kind of thing Michael Jackson would have done. Yes, yes. Speaking personally, I could never do this again. This plane is too small. It's like a VW van has taken off into the air. That's my favourite bit of the trip. What the land? It's ending. <laughs> may need to use my sea wings to compliment me back and leave them my compliments. All I can say is I feel Craig David would like it here. My name's Mitch. Hi, right, guys, you ready for the buggies? No. no. Yes. Have you done anything to those dunes to make them roadworthy? Nothing at all. OK. Why won't people accept that there are some places that they cannot drive? It's man's overwhelming need to conquer the elements whilst on a stag do. A guided waz around the dunes costs £125 for a couple of hours of sandy, gripless hell. Now, I'm not confident about this. I'm not confident. I'm not confident. No, 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 no. no. That's... No. The only thing I have in common with Jeremy Clarkson is that we're both casually racist. Ah! No, no, no. You've gone out of your mind! This entire sequence could have been handled by my stunt double. No, no, no! Oh, I feel trust slipping. Come on, that was a rush. That was the same kind of rush as being abducted. <laughs> that was br Come on. Oh, look at the sand. Look, I go through life um, just limping with gout. Sure. Out there, I felt like a sand ballerina. I was focusing on my own terror, but I'm pleased that you managed to, uh, to let go. I did. That was, it's a driving experience of my lifetime. Oh, hello. Wooden abras have been ferrying locals over the creek for a mind-boggling 40 years. And at one dirham, approx 18p, it's the cheapest way to travel to the oldest part of town. You like this? I do, yeah. It seems very unsafe. These boats do look like they could go any minute. What's that? What oh! Oh, you want oh, to pay okay, him? here we go. I'll get it, I'll get it again. Are you sure? It's fine. We'll square it at the end. Oh! It's got a bit of hitch. Look at this. This is gull heavy. I don't want to be tippy headrun here. Yeah. What well, they want from us? I'm glad I didn't bring fish and chips. Do we need Bernard Herman to score this moment? We're going into old Dubai. Right, okay. Some of this is as old as Katy Perry. A pleasingly swift four men journey lands us in the Al Fahidi district with its pre aircon wind towers and labyrinthine streets. <gasps> History! I know. This is all from the late 90s, I think. <laughs> and it's a bit less Dallas. All that remains of the old city walls is on display. And what a magnificent sight it is. 50 centimetres thick, 
600 metres long. These are impressive stats, aren't they? <laughs> 2.5 metres high. In the beginning of the 20th century, the wall was demolished to accommodate the expansion of the city and, frankly, good riddance to what is a statistically unimpressive wall. It hums of uh, Chessington World of Adventures. And you say that like it's a bad thing. Version <laughs> of Dubai. I love that place. Yeah, but no, That's but a place know. where you can dream. Beauty I like this. Gas. Yeah, perhaps it's not the best memento. But just fill every refillable butane lighter in the world. OK. Well, I don't know you can take that on the plane. That looks... Well, that's well, I'll, literally I'll just, flammable. No, that's but I'll just fill is. a lot of lighters while I'm here and then take all the lighters on separately. If you're getting through that many lighters here, I'm going <laughs> to recommend you cut down. <laughs> so, I, these two, I'm not sure what you'd call them. This one, 20 dirham. Each. Johnny, get in here. How much? One piece, 20 dirham. What, 20 for one? Yeah. Oh, come on. Johnny, Johnny does not please, like the sound of that. Please, please. We're on a limited budget. Say for 30, 35, down three. OK. Yeah? And then the T... 25. Whoa, now. Now. Come on. That's I mean, I know me tea. I sell a lot of tea in the UK. You're talking to Mr T? Trust me. I mean, I not am, the real I... Mr T. We can get him. Both for 40, and I'll do a picture holding the tea for you. The whole lot for 100. 100? 100 for all. OK. I don't feel totally comfortable with your energy level at the moment. You seem kind of down about it. Are you OK with this? Yeah, OK. I'm going to give you some more money because... because yeah, but it's not a game show. I'm well aware of that. It lacks the ratings and the razzmatazz. I know, but you're missing out on the whole okay. ethos of barter. No, I don't like this. Is... The man looks down. So I'm going to leave another 50 dirham, OK? Because... Okay. For everything. Is that enough now? OK, I'll give you what 100 you more. Hi. Hi. Hello, OK, you? fine. Um, are we... Please enter, I'll give you a short instruction. OK. How to use these old timers. OK. Well, East German's really small. For £35 each, Arvid, a man whose eyebrows cannot be contained, will lead us on his trabby safari round Berlin, doling out spiel on a clutch of the city's attractions. Oh, here we go. Lost. I've lost power. <laughs> no, we're I've losing our only freedom. Imagine if this is your way out of East Germany. No, I need to pull. <laughs> OK, we go, guys. Oh, I've got the handbrake on. Here we go. Am I indicating? I don't think we indicate here. <laughs> wow, that's a wide turn. You're doing really well. I know. I could be the new Matt LeBlanc. <laughs> it's when you see other motorists look at you with pity that you know you're in an unsafe vehicle. The Trabant's reputation for unreliability will keep us alive to the transience of life during our punishing sightseeing schedule. Oh, hello, drums. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. So we are going to pass the Reichstag building. This is a place where Adolf Hitler became the German Chancellor in January 1933. I've got to say, I'm, I'm still very, very so-so on Hitler. The more I hear about him, the less warmly I feel towards him. <laughs> Concert hall. This is all their big okay. good stuff. Oh, here we go. We're stalled. We're stalled. Man down. <laughs> Here we go. Don't let it stress you out. You're doing a good job. You're a natural at this. I mean, I've got a feeling yeah. that something's not, not right. Do I turn now? I'm going to do like really what apologetic hand waves. I think you can. I'm still in first gear, by the way. Unbelievable. <laughs> <clears throat> I've summoned Roisin to back me up as I start my morning exploration of the fretboard. Hi, Rasheen. Hey, Richard. Good sleep. Yeah, great sleep. Yeah. What is going on in here? I'll think of starting in G. I've been waiting for four hours. <laughs> OK? Get going. Get you some know, salmon I... between that crusty white bread. <laughs> Are we jamming? This yeah. is my first ever jam. Let's just jam in I G. imagine you've jammed loads, right? Come on. <laughs> I was born in a jam. You've got a good um, guitar face. Thanks. <laughs> you look like you... Any song that ends with this. 
<laughs> See, we're in dialogue now. Yeah? This I'm just good. going to put something in between everything you're saying. Okay, making my life like a yeah. real story. Yeah. Okay. So, what happened this morning? Woke up this morning. Had to wash my hair. Then I remembered. <laughs> had to play the keyboards. And I might have lied to the producers. Said, it's a bit better than I am. I can't play at all. And now I've got the blues shame. No, you've gone Gary Newman. You've... Have I? That's not the blues. OK, I've finished expressing myself. We need to leave. <laughs> Come on. Didn't it's get... over. I didn't get much of a go. Here's a plectrum. <laughs> Bang. We're out. <laughs> oh. I see why this museum's so busy now. Four out of five East Germans regularly went swimming unattired. That's a great stat. I'm not sure about the tennis nude. That feels like it's just yeah. taking it that to another extreme. That feels a lot of stuff is ungoverned. <laughs> With much of life under surveillance, the home became a palette on which the self was writ. It looks like Coronation Street. I don't watch that for political reasons. <laughs> now, this I like easy access to the toilet. There's normally doors, though, right? Not during this era. I'd like to get back to this era. I mean, this is ideal. <laughs> Homes under the hammer. <laughs> deal Are you or no sure deal. Have doors? Deal or no deal. <laughs> deal or no deal. Deal. <laughs> and you're back. Sexual education? Nothing I don't know. There's a lot I don't know. Loads. <gasps> Why? Oh, Why? I'm just face to face with the vagina. Why is it up in that cupboard? Is that standard That's issue? That's you keep the vaginas, Richard. <laughs> okay, the kitchen's nice. It's good. There's um, access through, there's it flow feels through. Like we're a couple and you're the laziest husband looking at a house. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's a cupboard in here called Women's Day. At work, the comrade director presented various hard-working women with medals and cash bonuses. Everybody present thanked the party and state for achieving gender equality. The afternoon was one long round of coffee and cake. Not only did the men serve the women, they even did the washing up. I'm pleased that didn't catch on. What are we up to now, Rich? I think we ought to go to one of the many vintage photo booths that have started springing up around Berlin. <laughs> Although lesser people might wish to photograph Berlin itself, we are only interested in creating further images of our faces before rampant glibness ravages them irreparably. Using an app, we locate one of the 25 restored black and white photo automats to facilitate our wish. Here we are. Okay. Automat. It's okay, I'll stump up the two euros. Thank you. It's fine. This is what's going to happen. You give four expressions and then I'll give my four and we'll compare. I don't know how many I've taken. No, the first one I look like, okay. I'm, I'm in the bill and I'm saying I know nothing. Here we go. Let's put them together. Let's look at the variety of expressions here. Look at the journey. There's one variant. I was trying to get my money back in that one. <laughs> well, I'm very pleased with that. This way, we've got a bookmark each. But if I have this in my book and you get murdered, I don't want to get blamed for the crime in the film noir version of this. And you better make sure I never get murdered. That's a promise I cannot take on. <laughs>